Hello everybody, welcome back to my second uh, Gorilla Tag fan game tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to make a um, how to make a button that turns red when you flick it, kind of like Gorilla Tag has. And yeah, so the first thing the first thing you're gonna want to do is join my Discord and get the monkey button script. I'm not sure who made it, and it doesn't say in here, so I'm not sure what it is, but Sadly, uh, if you are the person that made this script, make sure to comment below so I can give credit to you, and I will edit the description with credit for your script. So now what you want to do is, um, so, this, this is just my base map. So say that you want to make it for, like, a cosmetic or something. Um, let, let's say this is my cosmetic stand. Not very good, but, um, it'll do for now. Um, and we have, actually, we'll just make this our button. So, um, what we want to do is that, we, so now we have this button, uh, and I'm going to give it a box glider. Um, I'm also going to give it material, because metal. Actually, I'm going to make it white. Because if it's a button, most likely white. So I'm gonna make sure it has is trigger on, and I'm gonna name this button. You don't have to do this, but to keep it organized, I'm gonna name this button. And uh, you can use this for like, like keyboards, cosmetics, whatever you wanna do. And um, and then you wanna go to my Discord and get the monkey button script, and you wanna put it on whatever you wanna do. So now we have um our thing. So the object you want to do it on, just put the object, which is button for me. Uh in red, just put that as whatever uh material you want. So like if you want it to turn red when you click it, then sure. But if you don't want it to turn red and you just want it to do whatever, you can put whatever material there. Uh so basically this is the material that's gonna happen that's this is the material that's going to show up on the on the cube whenever it is um, touched. And white is the default material. For me, it's magenta. I know I have a weird white texture for that, but um, and then sound. If you want to add a keyboard sound, what what you got to do? You got to create an audio source. So I'm going to create one right here. Make sure play on awake is checked off, and um. And name, I'm gonna name this keyboard sound. And then audio clip, drag that from your assets in there. Uh, if you want to know how to get one, then just like look up a free copyright free audio source and like and just drag the MP3 into your assets and then put it there. And now we have this. So button keyboard sound, we're gonna put that there, and that should work now. And now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut the video real quick, so, uh, to where I'm in VR, so you guys can see this. Actually, actually, I'm just now realizing I can't do that, because, uh, scene change. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my gorilla rig in. Oh crap, wrong thing, I didn't mean to do that. Um... So now we're going to try this, and I believe it should turn red when we click it, so let's see. And if it doesn't, and it crashes, then, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Hope hopefully this works. Hmm, strange. Uh, let me see, did I do something wrong? I don't think I did. Huh. Well, um, it should work in your game. It worked for me. So, um, if it works for you, let me know. If it doesn't work, then I'll make an updated tutorial on how to do it. But that is how you make a button that turns red when you hit it for your Gorilla Tag fan game. Thanks for watching, and like and subscribe for more Gorilla Tag fan game tutorials like this.